Hello everyone, if you have a hard drive like this, maybe one you remove from a laptop that no longer works, you might be wondering how to use it in a desktop PC. First of all, your desktop's power supply will definitely have a SATA power cable like this. In addition, you'll need a SATA data cable to connect the drive to a SATA port on the motherboard. Let's say you also have an SSD from your laptop that's now unused. Just like traditional hard drives, SATA SSDs use the same connection interface, meaning they are physically compatible. However, the main difference difference lies in their read and write speeds. If you want your computer to start up and uh, shut down quickly, you should definitely install the operating system on an SSD, whether it's a SATA SSD or an M.2 SSD. Traditional hard drives are much slower in this regard. Now, what's the difference between a SATA SSD and an M.2 SATA SSD? In terms of data transfer speeds, they are actually very similar. Both typically reach speeds of around 450 to 500 megabytes per S. So even though M.2 SATA is a newer form factor, there's not much difference in speed compared to 2.5 SATA SSDs. Of course, we're not talking about Monsieur 2 NVMe drive drives. Here they are much faster. But when it comes to SATA-based drives, whether it's 2.5 or M.2, the performance is almost identical. 